today have been busy at taking this section apart right here. Uh, apparently it was too close to the new building. They didn't like the carport that close so I'm taking that one section out where I've got it all cut out already. And Not sure if anybody is familiar with these things. This one's dead, I sprayed them. So that's a carpenter bee right there. So this is the piece that I cut out right up there. And at first glance, Looks like I drilled a hole in there, doesn't it? Not me. That goes all the way through from there to here. That's a carpenter bee nest right there. All the way through. And if you look up here, I guess I'll have to come around from the top. So if you look up here, I sprayed that one as well, and it's stuck in the end of this nest. That's where I cut it off. So yeah, I've dug from there, through there, all the way to there. And I'm going to get that one out yet, and see exactly how far they dug into there. Okay, let's have a look-see. This one should be dead. It is. And I still can't even reach the bottom with this nail. So I'm going to have to see exactly how far that goes. Maybe there's even more in there. Maybe some more will come out. Don't know. Here's the one that fell out. So it's a good thing that thing's dead. That thing's huge. So there's this one. And that one over there is the one that I just pulled out of the end of the hole. And I just saw another one right there. It's also dead. So when I look in there, it looks like there is more in there. And I've got myself a piece of wire. I'm going to try and fish some more of them out of there. Hopefully uh, they're not all alive. But there's one there, I can feel it. I think they've gotten into hibernation or something. Or the spray might have got to them that I sprayed in there. Yep, look at that one. Ah, it looks like that must be a queen or something. Look at that tail sticking out of there. Wow, I'm almost scared to pull that one out. It looks like it might be alive yet. That's a big one. The size of that thing. Whoa. He's still hanging on. Alright, that's number four. Oh boy, here comes another. Ready to come out there. That would be number five. Holy. That's crazy. Okay. Wish me luck. Wish me luck with this one. Oh, it's 
starting to come out now. Right there. I guess that's number five coming out. Oh, he's a fighter. I think this one might be alive yet. He just went back in or did I push him in? Goodness, look at the size of that thing coming out of there. Oh. Okay, so that's five. So far they're, so far they're all dead. There's another one coming out. Number six on his way. Oh, my goodness, and there's another one. Number seven. Holy, how many's in there? Number eight. Number nine. Wow. I think I finally hit bottom. Nine of them. <sighs> Holy. Okay, so right there I've hit bottom. And it's that far in. Glad I got them out of there. It could cause some big problems up in there. So this is how deep it was on the part that's still there. So I'll put that right up to the edge there. And then if you get it all the way up to that hole, straighten this out. So it's about right there so from where my thumb is to the end of the wire that thing was almost eight inches deep wow so now that I'm rid of all the carpenter bees out of that hole I can continue to take that end piece off so I wasn't going to show too much about finishing up this roof here. As you can see I got that uh, end cut off over there and that's how far it used to reach. And got a nice little gap in between there now. Hopefully everything's going to be good this way.